Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. Let's start this day off right with this beautiful view. And <laughs> this gorgeous face mask <laughs> is going on. But the highlight is that they are the miniature <laughs> cucumbers. <laughs> Mate, they don't even stay on the eye. Aloe vera stings eyes. So that is why they put cucumber on them, because it's neutralizing. I only have a miniature cucumbers. <laughs> it is just a mani pedi spa up in here. <laughs> just to see what you look like. Uh, the fact that I put this guy on the internet like this is just next don't level. Don't put me on the internet. I don't approve. <laughs> All rights reserved. <laughs> Copyright. The miniature cucumbers. <laughs> Oh my god. We had a design change. <laughs> we had a design change. Now they are, <laughs> what would we call this? Scalloped. Oh, they actually look really nice and they're hitting your cheek, which is great for antioxidants. <laughs> Turn it off. Let's turn it off before we get copyright. That's where it's at. That is where it's at, people. Honestly, we can't breathe anymore, sister, without copyright. It's everywhere now. Let me place you. Sorry, you're on my phone. <laughs> this is what I like to do when I'm sitting waiting for pickup at school. I come early so I can just kick back and chill. I'm one of those mums. That is here on the bell. I think because obviously I had a role reversal. My mum was, you know, the earner, the breadwinner. She went out in her like third stage of life and became this psycho successful <laughs> real estate agent. And my pop, my dad, really became the house husband. He raised us. He was dad, dad. He was there. Um, however, I think like those mums waiting at the gate, you know, school mothers, I never really had that in the beginning. So I kind of, I don't know, I put that in with Massey and Zaki and they love it. Oh, I forgot their treat. Oh my God. I always bring them a little treat, like a biscuit or something. I forgot it. I left it in the house. Oh my yes, copyright. That's what I was trying to say. So we'll turn Drake off so that we don't get copyright for him. Speaking of, the other day I got asked or I had questions on Amy and Kat's live. Uh, and <laughs> I'm not going to talk about this on her live. Like some of the questions you guys asked are awesome because you follow me. You know if I've ever mentioned stuff before or you're watching a vlog. I'm not going to say this or talk about this topic on Amy's and Kat's live. Because obviously it's about luxury. This is not about luxury. However, I did get asked about it. And I'll answer questions if you guys want to ask questions to me or whatnot. Or topics to talk about in vlogs. I'm down. I'll talk about whatever you want to talk about, babe. Just leave it in the comments below and we'll have a chat. One of my subbies, Diana, hi babe, she asked me, she's from Toronto, Canada, and she asked me to explain the story about my connection or relationship of knowing Drake. This is so funny. I mentioned this once 110 years ago, so that's how long she has been following me, which is so amazing. Uh, I don't have a relationship I, I don't have a relationship with Drake. I'm not just like, hey, what's up? Like calling him or anything like that. My, I guess when they say six degrees of separation, it's it's probably closer than that. Like they say, what? So two degrees of, se not that close. Two degrees of separation or whatever. To him is that my story is that I... I know Aubrey's ex-girlfriend, so Nebby is, I know her, so I have a friendship with her, so Nebby was his first girlfriend, and Neb and him were together for, for most, from when he was a mid-age mid teenager, they were together for a while, and 
it broke his heart truthfully honestly i swear they would get married anyway so i know neb that's the first thing and so that's one connection the other connection is my auntie that lives in toronto i have an auntie that lives in toronto she is close friends with sandy sandy is aubrey's mum. i don't know how many degrees of separation that is but that is the connection do i pick up the phone and go hey what's up buddy how are you going no i don't um have i ever met him no i haven't and do I think he's really talented? Yeah. I knew him, I knew the family before Degrassi. So, you know, I think when you know someone or a family before the success and everything, it's they stay in your mind. Like the original person, does that make sense, stays in your mind. That's kind of what it's like with him. Um, but yeah, the success, I think he's incredibly talented. However it is that don't don't worship that type of industry truthfully it is toxic to say the least that is like the hip-hop rap world game is intense i don't think you'd wish that upon anyone to get into that in that level that level of success, success, that level of ties, that level of money, that level of knowing, performing, needing to stay up. You've got to stay relevant. You've got to have your newest album. You've got to be on top of it. Like you've got to spend every day being relevant so you're not forgotten to stay in the loop type thing. And then there is the like blood gang side of it. That's exactly what it is. It's like blood in blood out type thing you're either in and you're in for the long haul and to be fair it is kind of like a cult is it it's like luminati and it's really i think it's a really toxic world and when you think about bu and you think about park and all of that and gang wars and things like that that's what it's like think about the money that's involved in these worlds you know the world's alone of making the music, making the actual beats, making the stuff that they own the copyright to. So you're going to want your studios to make the actual copyright to the music because then you own that. And then it's like the enterprise doesn't own it. Sony doesn't own it. So on and so forth. And it's just, there's so much. I don't think Liv got to a level where she was like, she couldn't get out or that type of thing. She definitely stayed relevant till the end of her life. She had her own, you know, sound, her own band, her own studio and whatnot. But that's nothing like the fast paced life of, you know, it can ruin you. And the hip hop rap game is dark. It really is. And a life like that that looks so shiny and brand new and fantastic. And there's so many kids that worship him and look up to him and everything. You would never, ever wish that upon yourself. You'd never wish it upon your kids, honestly. It is something you can't get out of truthfully and what's sad is his mum is so gorgeous and genuine she's just like she's like Jillian to be honest <laughs> she's just a mum's mum oh, it's intense it's intense that world but anyway it's my story of Drake I did get a, I got, I've had that asked a couple of times because I mentioned it once people that stick to my videos are insane I can say one thing and if they remember they will stick with it and then they'll be like explain it explain it but yeah Someone asked to explain the Britney story as well, of Britney Spears, and yes, I will do that. That is another person that don't wish it upon anyone. That just goes to show, you know, how toxic it can be, and it really, really is. And that girl is nothing but just pure, she is an angel, she is she is so gorgeous and that is nothing but a fabricated child that never got to live their lives ever from mickey mouse club like she never was a child to begin with and it's like imagine losing yourself at that age and just being put into you know 
the Hollywood grind. And I say that blanket statement. I don't just mean like, you know, a Hollywood grind. But no, the fame, the fame game, it's sickening. And it's just, yeah, you want a life. That's the thing. You want a life and you want freedom. And these people, mm -mm. as amazing as it looks, they're not free. And they're not free at all. And they are a prisoner of their own success. And you basically can't get out. You can't get out. Aubrey would never be able to get out of that. He's so big. He's so intertwined. He's owned by so many people. He owes so many people. He's It's blood gang. That's exactly what it is. And it's brutal. Anyway, <laughs> that's my happy talk this afternoon. Oh, wow. The four of us. Uh, all sitting You're on the kitchen in my couch, eye. shining in my eye, watching the <laughs> moon. Mummy, Will and I yeah, arguing. that's so moving. Will and I arguing. It's not full. But yeah, because it's not full. He's saying. I know it's a full moon. Jerusha is just arguing by herself <laughs> with herself. <laughs> Everyone has Mommy, now seen minus Lucky oh. the rabbit on the moon. Worst thing muscle. that ever happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't enjoy the moon it. anymore. All I can see is a rabbit now. You can't unsee it. Okay. Anyway, that's all I wanted to tell you. Some family. It looks like we're camping, guys. We camping. I'm a cat. Mommy doesn't really camp, but we'll pretend. <laughs> Let's put some cricket sound effects on. <laughs> Daddy would love it. I have a hat. Too. Give him, give the vlog a side view. Let go, Masi. Let go of my nipples. A good night, Bucket and Goliath. This is the baby Chino King. He could literally drink baby Chinos all day. And of course, of Victoria, only the best, <laughs> only the best milk. I have to ask for two marshmallows. God forbid we only get one. <laughs> nah, my kids don't really have meltdowns. Oh, I knew you would do that again. Okay, no, you're not changing every day, sorry. You did it yesterday. Come on, sit up straight, please. Sit up straight at the table. You don't lean down like that. It's not good manners. Thank you. Zaki found my eyelash extension spoolie. <laughs> Show me. And other than playing games with his Hot Wheels, can you do it to me then? He's yeah. gonna brush. No, no, don't cover it. <laughs> We're yeah, just yeah, in the middle of a cafe, but. <laughs> Oh, wow. That, oh. <laughs> wow. What is that? What? <laughs> you two have inside jokes, it's weird. Hi, Asai. It's not, it's not a joke at all. <laughs> Why? Uh, I just have this to the ears. What is that? Well, show us. Oh, sorry. Well, it was. Why does that blessed bowl smush this, the biscoff? No, they yeah. smush the actual soft serve. No, I licked oh, it. Oh, he's eating yeah. strawberry? You are? Have ice cream. Sure. I am. Awesome. Can you text me? Show me from the front. What did Nanny Lucy get? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? You were no longer You were no longer allowed to take care of my child. What is she wearing? Is it from like the news agent or something? It's from St. George. They gave it to us for free. Are you, a, are you a money what are they called? Money money saver? Show me again. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. It is quite bittersweet. Actually, in fact, it's probably just more bitter than anything, sad than anything. Here is my beautiful mother with her gorgeous monogram Louis Vuitton shawl on. We are heading into high tea, bro. 
brunch. Sorry for shaky. High tea brunch at the Observatory Hotel. It is exactly one year since the passing of my beautiful godmother, my mother's best friend of how many years? Jesus. 50? Um, 60. 60 something. years. Ms. Olivia Newton-John passing away. 62 years. 62 years. Wowza. Wowza. We should call Pat, actually. Oh. <laughs> when Liv toured, she, when she toured here in Sydney, she stayed at a beautiful hotel here called the Observatory. It has now been bought over by the Langham and they do a gorgeous high tea. Mum and I this morning are heading into their high tea to just have a moment together and remember Liv and yeah it's surreal I think. Isn't you can it? run up the corridor and stuff and knock on the doors. Chloe and I were such little brats. <laughs> we used to play a game, a game, we used to play an annoying thing called Ding Dong Ditch in this hotel where we would, such brats, we would run up and down the corridor pressing the bells to all the rooms and then the people would come and answer and we would run. We thought it was the best thing in the world. Look at the bridge. Mum has the concentrate. I'll pick you back up when we get to the hotel and you can see our beautiful high tea for my godmother. But I'm so frustrated. Hello. We're here for high tea. My beautiful girl. For our Libby. Let's go and show everybody. This can be a young man's game. Send up for the hall of shame. I wish I knew. salmon sandwich instead of the chicken mm -hmm. we also have the caramelized halum tomato tart right here we have the passion fruit yuzu tart the raw meat in chocolate cake right here is the cheesecake with fruit salad and the last one is the breakfast which is vanilla yogurt mousse with fig jam gel oh God. it's beautiful thank you so thank much thank you so much you like a photo with the foot together? i'm not quite sure what this is do we know gotta be this? chocolate mousse Yum. Hmm. I use some sort of souffle. <laughs> I don't know what to say. to take it it's my easy saying <laughs> <laughs> you just literally can't write this stuff guys let's start let's start with why the headphones in the first place <laughs> oh my god oh my god from nana 
can't see it in its blood key. Is it? Hmm. Are they Bluetooth? Yes. Well, oh, we got to get invisible skipping on the vlog. Please, it's a really big part of your life. <laughs> this is invisible skipping. Oh, oh. <laughs> Show me from the front. I'm not quite sure if... The interesting part about invisible skipping is I wonder if he had a skip rope, a jump rope in his hands, would it actually be catching? Show me the, show me the double step. Come on, people want to see your aerobic fit. Oh, <laughs> was that a triple? It's a double. <laughs> it's a double. <laughs> Let's say it again. Mom, Mom's doing homework with Mussy. Say it again. And she just <laughs> said, these, you, you know the these. <laughs> <laughs> you know these answers. You can do, do these answers standing on your head. <laughs> so Mussy's standing on his head. I wanted to show you guys this. This is Zaki's little play drawer okay, in yeah. Mum's house. Look what is one of his play toys. <laughs> this is my dad's no, old see, Nokia go. iPhone. Oops, Jesus. My dad's my old Nokia <laughs> cell phone. Oh my god. And back when we thought these were so like an no, advanced. Missing. Missing. Not thinking right. Oh my god. It's no. a relic. Hi guys! Ah! I just got back from no. the farmer's market. Mm -hmm. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, is that what I was saying? Artichoke? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna see grilled artichoke? <laughs> Are you gonna see it? Because I saw like on. Oh, God, you've got to follow. Mediterranean. Thanks, boys, for my flowers from the top. Look at these yeah. little red yeah. cheeks. Put yeah. them up here. Kojaki got them. I saw an amazing uh, recipe on. I follow this. Um, it's called Mediterranean Meals or something on Instagram. It's so yum. And they do an amazing roast. So I grilled artichoke. Thanks, boys. Oh, nice parsnip, Willie. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got to a point where Chef Zaki now makes mummy coffee. Someone is home with a little virus. Oh, now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Okay, now open the flap. Okay. And then get another one. Be very careful. It's gone down. Get another one. Be very careful of mommy's mug. Yep, shut the lid. Carefully. And press again. <laughs> Are you sure you're close enough? All right. Is my milk ready? Oh, are you okay? Yeah. Yes. You didn't press the milk button. Oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Is it going red? Yes. Okay. Um, put your lid back. We have to find the coffee bubble to refill it, okay? Okay. No, no, no more. We just need to find the coffee to refill it. Shout out to Fashion File. And this is a really probably silly idea. Brrr, that's sugar. Okay, okay. You can use a teaspoon for the sugar. In a second, in a second. Okay, are you left-handed? No, 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 baby. This one into that one. Okay, okay, nice and easy. Keep going. All of it. All of it. All of it. And the frost. Now the sugar. The foam, the foam. Good job. Kind of. 
Got it all? No, the sugar. Do you want to use the spoon to get all the foam out? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is very treacherous waters. Okay, okay, okay. That's enough. Yes. Okay, don't give me diabetes. All right. That's enough. That's enough. Stir it. No, that's enough. Stir it. Oh, oh, yes, sister. Oh, what a pretty coffee by Zaki. Smile. Yes, There's one very fat cooker. Well, believe it or not, the boys just saw an eagle. Did you hear what I said, Mum? The boys just saw an eagle. This is a couple of kookaburras. <whistles> Guys, sing. They're pretty fat, man. Oh! <laughs> They're gonna mistake you for a friend, Jill. <laughs> They're pretty fat, though. Sing, guys, sing. Or am I going home now? Bye, boys. Yes, drive, <laughs> Just drive. Bye. Are you going away from me? Bye. See ya. Just to show you guys this, I felt like I showed you this in the other vlog. In another vlog. Oh, well, if I'm repeating myself, I apologize. I have amnesia. This is Connoisseur Jewelry Cleaner. Yeah, I swear I've told you this. It is one of the best fine jewelry cleaners. This is the Cartier Lotion. It's not necessarily a jewelry cleaner as such. It just kind of, yeah, moisturizes the stones and whatnot. I have cleaned this. This is my three set, obviously, band um, engagement ring and my love. And I've just cleaned it in the lotion. I just sort of lightly clean it in the lotion and let it sort of sit. And then I pop it in the connoisseur for like a couple of minutes. And then this, let's just pop them there. This was a little freebie that came with my Van Cleef, my Van Cleef Alhambra bracelet that I didn't end up keeping because it's far too delicate. Sometimes it takes you know, getting an item, I've said this before, before you really know if it suits your lifestyle. And unfortunately, the Alhambra in all the stones, the only thing I'd be able to get it in is hammered. And it only comes in hammered in the bracelet in rose gold. And even though I think their rose gold is not too pink, I think it's more, you know, you kind of mistake it. I, I just, I don't know. I can't, I don't know how I feel. For that kind of money, I just, maybe I can find it on the resale market, the consignment market. Anyway, this is their microfiber cloth, and oh my god, if this is not amazing, I don't know what is. It is insane. It is so, so beautiful. Look at it. It's the same as Bulgari. Bulgari is, is like a blanket. I've shown you that before, I think. But this is just so gorgeous and just so, yeah, just really, really beautiful. So let's go ahead and put these in here for a couple of minutes and then we're going to shine them up together. So I'm just going to pop you on here so I can show you. Um, yeah, so this is how it comes. I swear I've shown you this before. So it's got a little basket inside that you put your jewellery, you load it into the little basket. It has its own little detachable, like little stored brush. And it's a really fine little brush you can get in all the nooks and crannies if you do have quite dirty jewellery. And listen, you know, the finer the jewellery in the sense of, sorry, hang on. The finer the jewellery in the sense of it's, you know, like... This slumbergine is really detailed in obviously all the crosses and all of the baguette work. Sorry, all the solitaire work is like really finite. So you want to sort of get into that. And the smaller the brush, the kind of easier that is to do. 
But we'll load that into a little basket, which you can see there. And then pop it back in. Give it a nice shake around. And leave that for a couple of minutes. And then we'll get them out. Okay, so that was a couple of minutes. Probably about roughly two. I've left my jewellery in for a lot longer. I've actually forgotten about it before. <laughs> I don't necessarily think it's damaging. I also don't think they can let it be damaging. But that is frothy, as you can see. And it's all down inside there. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it a little brush over with the brush it's got while it's all sort of bubbly. Hopefully you guys can see any of this, you probably can't. And we're just going to wash it off and then give it a microfiber. Okay, so we'll see how this goes. I'm going to pour, there's the basket. All clean, like all rinsed off. So we're just going to plonk them on here. I once had a viewer that was like a jeweler and we were doing stuff. This is ages ago. And they just like scolded me. They were like, you're doing everything wrong to preserve the stones and the gold. And I was just like, do you know what? <laughs> Not everyone can continue, you know, it's your trade. So I feel like, you know, you're a pro of your trade. Not anyone, the general public, you know, can do everything someone can specialize in. So obviously a lot of these things are made for the general public to be able to use um, and we're not professionals. So I think at the same time, you've got to keep that in mind. People get so angry, but really. Okay, so this is going to be hard. Let me swap hands. Okay, this is going to be hard and it's probably not going to work the best, but I just want to show you how good these microfiber cloths are. It's really, really difficult one-handed. I do hope you appreciate that. The solitaire just shows off because <laughs> it's obviously a solitaire. But the ones you want to really show up are the, again, finite kind of ones. This guy, yes, the love, but so much the um, slumbering, the Tiffany 16 stone. Oh my gosh, this, because this is just really. It doesn't get dirty as when you say dirty, it sounds gross, but it just gets, you know, like grotty, like fibery, it gets dust and stuff in it, and it dulls it because obviously it's on your finger, you know, 24 7. And I know a fair, a fair few people that don't take their rings off at night, whatnot, things like that, and you know, up to you. A lot of people don't want to, safety-wise. They can't sleep with them on. It irritates them. But yeah, look at that. That's really, really clean. Very nice. Come on, camera. Beautiful. Yeah, really beautiful. Really clean. Very nice. Okay, so that's the set. And then... This guy, love, and I've had a few of these. A lot of you may know the story. I can't remember if I've told on a vlog. I have banged up two considerably to the point where I banged up this love. And to be honest, I banged up my Jocelyn Clue as well. I'd love to replace it, but... It's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth replacing it at all. I sold my other ones and put the money together and got new ones and it was fine. There's just long clue will not. There's just too many of them out there on the consignment market 
way too many. Ooh, that's nice. You can see the hairline scratches. So many people write in to me and go, oh my God, loves aren't worth it. They just scratch. Correct. They aren't worth it. <laughs> you have to love the brand pretty much to collect these because they scratch like crazy. Really scratch like crazy, like badly because it's a flat, soft, soft gold. The golds are so soft in Cartier. So yeah, shocker. They scratch really badly. But that is my little cleaning situation with Connoisseur and with Cartier Lotion on my beautiful Van Cleef microfiber cloth. Do we like that? Pretty. Oh, beautiful. Any kind of microfiber cloth that's really good quality is just, it's worth it, honestly. This, this is <laughs> Don't talk about money. It's rude. I have some more money! Really bad timing, Daddy. Look who's doing word search. Mossy, accidentally, in a fit of rage, smashed this television with the remote. It has been a week, a couple of weeks, and Daddy just replaced it. You're very lucky. And what did you learn? What did you learn from this lesson? Getting smacked by the bell. You had it told me 10 years ago that I would have a baby holding this keychain and playing with it. I would have told you you're crazy. When I recovered from my car accident, it's like five years, four years later, three years later, I went on a worldwide trip and I met up in all different countries and cities with my friends and my family. And I collected a keychain every place I stopped from Hong Kong of course and then from hong kong i think i went to london i think i went to london which is here yep he is in the hardware store and he is a little bit sick today he got a virus from school naturally and he is purchasing some dissolve it because they keep deciding to stick paper go to panel lady How are you? there you go should we scan scan oh oh look she's gonna let you use the scanner so pull the trigger oh well done good job mate now you give the lady the money and she can keep it all because mummy doesn't want any <laughs> change. <laughs> no thanks, baby. Hey, take take the that's that's you say thank you, put it in the here. No 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 put it in the bag. Good job, nailed it. So we have come for a blessed bowl. I swear to god, all I keep doing is putting this on the blogs. <laughs> But this is Zaggy's first time having a blessed bowl with strawberries. Put it up here, Baba, so you don't drop it. Is that delicious? Is it delicious? Yeah. It looks like Auntie Lucy's one. It does look like Nanny Lucy's, you're right. Mummy's getting her biscuits. <laughs> Daddy's been away on business. <laughs> so therefore, <laughs> therefore the idiot show. <laughs> oh. Marcy, come on. Just have a minute of chill, bro. Uh, you just broke your arm. This is a very dangerous experiment. That is not a helmet. Let me see, Zaki. <laughs> Which way are you going, Spider Man? <laughs> he goes, Can I wear my Spider Man mask to ride my bike? I'm like, Uh, here. Oh, 
one of these noughts and crosses blocks. Come on, Spidey. Hey, try not to uh, have any injuries. I'll fix it. saw me in the department store having a browse. I am obsessed with Dior gift sets. However, they're so expensive, but the Dior Riviera, so obsessed with it. It's so beautiful. So that was me having a browse. I'm gonna end this vlog here. I love being back at the mall. I just grabbed a coffee, of course. And yeah. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I hope everybody is doing really well and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks guys for watching. Hello to my loneliness. I